what's up everyone arctic here bringing you guys a brand new black ops 2 gameplay uh, in this commentary i'm going to be pretty much talking about the assault rifles and my current um i guess approach towards black ops 2 so you guys gotta get a better picture of what i'm doing i'm also going to be talking about some of the perks i'm using and uh what i'm planning to do going forward so right now i'm using the uh, swat 556 i have the uh, foregrip and laser sight attachments on that secondary i have the 57 pistol i'm running with uh ghost cold-blooded dexterity and engineer so you guys see i have that perk 3 greed going on uh and for the most part when i talk about assault rifles this is talking from pure experience so far in the game i have pretty much exclusively stayed to uh the assault rifles from the duration that i've been playing black ops 2 i have messed around with a couple of the smgs the pdw and uh the, the scorpion i think is uh the other one that i've used and I, the, the main reason I use the PDW is just because a couple people were like, oh, this gun is the best gun in the game. You need to try it out. Uh, it's pretty, it, it wrecks. It does. It's really good. Now, in terms of assault rifles and uh, my experience so far with that, if you guys have uh, watched some of my Call of Duty content, you guys know I love the FAL. Uh, you probably heard me in a couple of uh, <laughs> uh, mic'd up live commentaries where I've said, oh, the FAL is the shit. You know, I've been using that. And for the most part, that's continued to be the case. I love the FAL. I think it's excellent, especially with select fire. Uh, but my experience across the board for all the assault rifles is that I typically find myself getting consistently outplayed by SMGs and shotguns. Um, and it's it's not even you know a matter of players being better than me. Um, it's just I, I could be in the exact same room, to give you guys an example, I could be in the exact same room against the exact same players, and as soon as I switch to an SMG, all of a sudden those guys are like nothing. They start getting dominated, run over, consistently. I've, I've had this happen where it's like, okay, I'm like at plus one, maybe negative one, or I'm breaking even. I switched to SMG and I'm like plus 12, and it's like, what? These are the same guys. And it's like, I, I don't know, that's kind of been the feeling that I've been getting when I play is like, I don't know if it's my style of play. I don't know if it's how the other team is playing. I don't know if it's my teammates. Cause you guys, I, I run solo a lot. Um, if I don't have the opportunity to play league play. So it's not like I have a lot of games where I have a full party of players. So I get to see the assault rifle or other weapons work efficiently. And there's call outs and stuff going on. Um, for the most part, I'm running by myself and you guys know how that is. Uh, you know, it's in every single game, you get those teams or packs of players that make it really difficult to uh, play effectively. Luckily, there's Mercenary uh, if it ever gets on my nerves too much. But I just have not had the same type of a success with assault rifles that I've had with the SMGs. And I've not gotten to the shotguns yet, but uh, I'm pretty much kind of antsy to see how those play out. But that's one thing that I want to know from you guys is how are you faring with different rifles if you've messed around with a lot of them uh, like i have uh, what are your favorites and uh, are you finding that the smg seem to be, or the, the the shotguns for that matter seem to be much more dominant uh weapons than the assault rifles that's one topic now in terms of uh, perks uh i just recently learned about how ghost works in black ops i never really paid attention to it I, I don't really watch to be honest i don't really watch too many black ops 2 um videos i just go about my business and uh you know occasionally play i know i got some buddies obviously on youtube that i watch some of their stuff every once in a while and uh i, I was kind of curious on how ghost worked based off of the description and i was kind of like huh maybe it just means if you like stay moving by like walking you don't camp anywhere and then you won't show up on radar so I saw one of the videos that someone posted, and uh, you basically have to stay running. Like, if you don't run, uh, you basically will show up on radar. And I guess the best indicator for me from one of the videos that I watched, and I didn't even know this, was that uh, your little, I guess, map that you have, you, you, you're obviously the yellow icon. Whenever it's faded out like I am right now, you're not showing up on radar. And when you're uh, not transparent, when you're full yellow color, I guess, um, that's when you're showing up on radar. So until I figured that out, it was like, I had no idea when I was showing up and when I wasn't. And that's like something that I probably should have picked up really earlier. But again, I don't play a whole lot of call of duty just enough that uh, I can maintain some integrity when playing. 
And so that was like the biggest thing for me was like, oh, Ghost is like way different now. It's not like it used to be. We could just sit and hide and camp and do whatever. So, I mean, it's a good change. But uh, if you're running Ghost and you haven't paid attention to that, it's definitely something that uh, you should look out for. I'm sure most of you guys probably already know that by now. But it's one of the things that I didn't know until recently. So I thought I would mention that. So right now, uh, for this gameplay, I was using Dead Silence. and uh, Not Dead Silence. Um... Dexterity and uh, Engineer. Engineer has been a lifesaver, literally. Um, so many times I've died to Bouncing Betty's before I had Engineer that uh, I, I just honestly, I don't think I could uh, run without it now in game. It's just that good. And Dexterity, now that I'm using the assault rifles, I'm kind of don't really feel like it's as good. I feel like it's probably pretty good with SMGs, and I haven't really distinguished. Uh, which gameplay would be better for me, but uh, once I go over to SMGs for however long I test those, then I'm going to really test to see if Dexterity makes a difference with or without it. Um, so as of right now, I switched over to a Perk 1 Greed, and uh, I took off uh, Dexterity with the M8A1, which is the rifle that I'm currently using. Uh, I have to get some gameplay up on that, but uh, I've switched that out with, uh, I believe it's Hardline for faster score streaks. So I just want to see how that works. Um, so I have Ghost and Hardline. And, you know, I, I, for the longest time I had Lightweight. Just wasn't really digging it, I guess. Fall damage wasn't significant enough for me. I didn't really feel like I was suiciding a lot after I jumped out of uh, buildings or that I was getting shot um, after I jumped out of buildings and dying faster. Most of the time uh, when I died, I was already in a situation where I was going to die anyway. Either, you know, that person had a shotgun and I didn't know or um, I get out sprayed because of fire rate uh, with SMGs. Those seem like the two times or uh, two most frequent situations where I find myself dying. So I'm also interested to know what perks you guys are running. Again, you guys saw this gameplay. I've actually switched over now. I'm using Ghost, Hardline, still using Cold Blooded. I took off Toughness a while ago and uh, now I'm using Engineer. So hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and uh, commentary. I'll be back with some more. Till the next time, guys. Catch you later. Peace. <laughs> what? What? The Sultan of Swat? The King of Crash? The Colossus of Clout? Babe Ruth, the Great Bambino!